Hey everybody, welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. My name is Rudwald. Thank you all so very much for joining me today as we keep this USA run going right into 1937. Here we go. Midnight and the new year. So, oh, immediately. Chromium? Oh, see what happened. South Africa delivered zero. South Africa cancel our trade deal? What is... Immediately, huh? What's going on? Hold on, let's pause it. We don't have the thing that says unfulfilled import requests, which is odd. So let's just go back to buying Chromium from South Africa. I'm not sure why that reset. Radio interception group, very nice, very nice. We're gonna let time keep rolling. So the goal uh, for this year is to jump our economy up to early mobilization um, and just start blasting through our construction queue um and with those new military factories we're gonna get our productions going we're gonna get tanks going we gotta get some heavy tanks going do, 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 do. and we should probably start working on our armored divisions let's pop him up there let's get uh, the same number of light tanks we're gonna need like 20 heavy tanks in production probably Anyways, it's January 11th. We're going to let time roll. Keep on going until we need to uh, fuck with our research. And remember, we're just waiting for that 300 political power. Hopefully before our war support declines below 31%. Or 30%, rather. We're making 1.16 a day, so we just need to wait a month. It's a month. Ah, uh, a witch hunt. What, what misconduct? What did we do wrong? Sorry, helping kids with polio is misconduct. Oh, this only costs 25 support the anti-fascist war. We get 5% base war support. And that's aiding China in the war against Japan. Okay, so we can do that if we need to. If this drops down to 30, but I think we're going to make it. It's going to be perfect. We're going to pull it off, god damn it. 283, we're getting there. 290, 291. Oh my fucking god, we're so close. 295. 97 299 3 fucking 100 let's go early mobilization fuck yeah oh my god look how much more fuel we just got jesus christ two ocean navy act finished at the same time we're on top of the fucking world boys all right uh so, focus-wise, again, we have the option of going this way for that extra research slot, but for now, we're doing this because we want to get our doctrines uh, really sped along. We don't have enough support to go Selective Traniac at the moment, so we'll do Fund the Navy and get that Naval Doctrine buff. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. The Angelus of Austria. After a successful coup d'etat by the local Nazi party in Vienna, German troops have crossed the Austrian border and taken control of the country. No fighting has been reported, and the German soldiers were greeted by chattering crowds in the cities. On a speech before a massive crowd at the Heldenplatz in Vienna, Hitler announced the Anschluss of Austria, annexing the country into Germany. The oldest eastern province of the German people shall be, from this point on, the newest bastion of the German Reich. Yeah, if that's what they wish. That's fucked. Look how big Germany is now. Uh, it's only a matter of time before they hit Poland and Czechoslovakia, right? We'll see what happens. Frightening, but look at that jump to world tension of 23%. That's, uh, it's all starting. It's all starting. So if we look at our economy now, boom. Look at that. Look at that. Plus 35% construction speed. This shit is, uh, going all the way down, I think, five, six bars on the queue working simultaneously we did it boys we fucking did it uh it looks like we're gonna have to wrangle some support in the senate and house back again but now we can afford that medium lobbying effort oh that feels so good i cannot express all right let's play it again february 9th we're gonna let time roll appropriately uh-oh Benito Mussolini today announced that Italy would no longer consider herself bound by the naval treaty she has signed. The world situation, he said, made the choice inevitable. Italy has apparently received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun, uh, begun aggressive naval expansion programs and threatened legitimate Italian interests in the area. 
The Italian Adm Admiralty has refused to comment on rumors that several ships currently under construction were already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. So there we go. That is the naval treaties beginning to be abandoned. Um, and I believe that, yeah, escalator clause invoked. So, in a year's time, we get higher production caps based on Italy's abandonment of the treaty. Because we ain't no treaty breakers, goddammit. Um, how we doing on our upgrades, our ship upgrades? Okay, we're getting there. So, we only have, we have four, or we have, those are our convoys. So we have three brand new ships in production that are all going to finish us here. And then the upgrades will fly by. That's excellent. I can play it again, probably, huh? Ah, and there goes Japan, also abandoning the naval treaty. Aha, our depth charge throwers have finished research. It's February 28th now. Um, so we're going to go into... Yeah, we're going to keep this guy on naval tech, right? So let's get those improved torpedo launchers. Oh, we got a couple other things finishing up right here. Beautiful. There's our mortars. Um, this guy, we're going to keep on military tech. I do believe, because we're starting to get ahead of us a little bit. Let's get our special forces cap up so we can have more marines, and we can start stationing them on Guam and Midway. Because the Japanese are coming. Um, so we got our signal company researched. We got engineering, recon, field hospitals, signal companies, and then maintenance companies are the last ones I think we're going to need. Military, police, and logistics, I tend to largely ignore. Nationalist victory in the Spanish Civil War. Um, yep, we knew that. That happened already. But now they've eaten up the other chunk, and so it is final. It is final. Um, so there we have it. Francisco Franco, son of a bitch himself, is in charge of Spain. I'm going to keep upgrading our cryptology department, uh, and then we'll start to go down operative training so we can get some intelligence networks um, building. We got 91 days left on Japan's cipher. Let's get a jump start on uh, the German cipher. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, because we'll still have Japan's cipher done before the Pacific War starts. What are we missing? Uh, naval bombers. Carrier compatible. Oh, because we're building aircraft carriers currently. So let's get the Devastator into the production line. Formation flying has finished. That's dope. Uh, come on, so many ships to upgrade. They're, they'll be done uh, pretty soon, though. Okay. We're going to keep this, uh, this going. Dive bombing. Let's get that started. So we have 15 army XP right now. Uh... We're at 24 width, so what my general plan here is I, I do artillery uh, across the bottom, um, like uh, so. At least we're going to start that, hit save there, and immediately that's going to send our artillery into major deficit, right? Yeah. Ouch! Yeah. But that's okay, because we've got uh, more production queued up here. I Speaking out. Come on. Got some decisions available. Let's keep these lobbying efforts rolling. I think that's really all we can do, huh? Yeah. Uh, we could we can do some nation building in the Philippines. We can spare that right now. We'll let time keep rolling. It's March 29th. Our economy is uh, cruising along. All right, machine-assisted decryption has finished. Now let's go into operations and get some localized training centers started. Fund the Navy has finished. That is a huge boon. Can we... It's April 20th, by the way. Um, yeah, we can. Okay, so I want to get the Selective Training Act. Uh, and then we'll hit Louisiana Maneuvers. And then we will jump over to that last research slot. So we have to get our land doctrine uh, cruising along a little quicker than it is currently. Because if you recall, they do take fucking forever. I think it's time to grant statehood to Alaska, so let's go ahead and get that cruising along. Small lobbying effort while we're at it. Um, 
need to bring these bring these states into the union. We can recruit a new operative. This is excellent. Uh, what do we got? She is well groomed. Uh, trade mission twenty percent. Diplomatic pressure mission twenty percent. She's an infiltrator. I like that. Mary Bates, welcome to the fold. You're excellent. We just finished those localized training centers. We're going to ease off on intelligence upgrading for a moment. Just to save our factories. Oh man, look at that construction fly by. Hey, it makes me so happy. We need 50% war support to get to war support, excuse me, to get to partial mobilization. Um, <laughs> so we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, all I think the Nazis, as soon as they invade Poland, I think we'll get there immediately. We'll, we'll see what happens. How's our navy? Is the strike force here? That's our strike force, right? Scout force two. Let's assign them the Binox. And these guys. Let's actually name you Strike Force 2. I thought I had done that, but that's okay. Uh, and then we are going to take our heavy cruisers and throw them into there. We're going to take our the Yorktown, our new aircraft carrier, and this light cruiser we'll throw in the Scout Force. And I think that's a pretty good breakdown of all that. These guys are all regulars, right? Yeah. I can upgrade more destroyers? This is absurd. Why? 12 days. I mean, I might as fucking well, right? And all of our subs are now regular. Oh, no. This whole tax force, task force, excuse me, needs to go on naval exercises. Sub force one. Get on it, boys. Strike force two. They're all doing their thing. We'll wait for these uh, destroyers to all get refitted before we put them on naval exercises. We have five more army XP. We can throw in this last uh, artillery piece here. Uh, save. And now we're at 36 width, so we need four more width. Um, which we can fill out in a number of ways, essentially. What I was planning on doing is putting light tanks down the side here uh like so to get up to 40 and then look at our breakthrough jumps up to 159 that's that's absurd <laughs> but we're 87 right now without the tanks like i i would like to do that for sure um but we're gonna have to wait we need 25 as you can see to start a new row uh army xp that is so we'll we'll get to 10 we'll throw in our signal company um and then we will work on getting the light tanks in there as well as editing our armored divisions here um which i'm gonna fill with heavy tanks and motorized infantry it's june 12th now and time's gonna keep ticking nice we just finished that improved ship torpedo launcher um so let's go down here and we got to get our fire damage control drills started dope Carrier Primacy has finished. We're going to keep that Naval Doctrine cruising along. Paying the farm subsidies. I think you just always do that. Always do that. Selective Training Act has finished. Um, so let's hit Louisiana Maneuvers. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that first. And then we'll go back over towards the extra research slot. And I'll look at our construction just screaming along. It makes me so happy. I'm going to initiate the construction of some more military factories. Um, try to do it in spots where we're not going to tap out the construction caps. And then I'll stagger them out some more. Dive bombing has finished. It's July 6th. Uh, 218 days for direct ground support. Bummer. But, you know, it must be done. It must be done. 
All right, we're out of the deficit on infantry equipment. That's excellent. Um, and as you can see, our factories are now starting to fill out our light tanks and our heavy, well, not our heavies yet. They'll get there after we construct three more factories, which will happen uh, relatively quickly. We can't train more Marines yet. That's a bummer, but we can give them, oh uh, no, we don't even have the armor, uh, the army XP, excuse me. For that. That's okay. Oh, wait, how are our ship upgrades doing? Check in on that. Oh, cruising right along. Cruising right along. I love it. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And the Enterprise. Captain, it's the Enterprise. <laughs> Did you guys ever see this old, uh, the old Star Trek where they go back and save the whales? Cypher for Japan is fully decrypted. Beautiful. Um, throw the Enterprise in Strike Force 2. And now this is starting to shape up. Look, we got two carriers, two heavy cruisers, 21 destroyers. That's what I like to see. Um, so even though we got Japan Cypher complete, we are going to wait until we activate that buff. Um, until, until we're at war, basically. Nice. We finished Special Forces research. And that's going to give us uh, a big buff to our Marines. Um, we gotta keep this military tech going. It's gonna be our, like, military section. And our maintenance company's about to finish. That's exciting. Beautiful. Oops, wrong one. So, let's see. 39 is when we can do the next rank on all those maintenance companies. So, we go to armor. Again, 39. Till... Well, we can't even get the next heavy tank till 41. Um. 39. Again kind of stuck in a rut aren't we we can do the land uh doctrine here mobile defense and then when our national focus finishes louisiana maneuvers in about 40 days um two months ish a month and a half ish excuse me then that research time book is going to get cut down by like 50 percent it's gonna be great i know we have no divisions in basic training it's because i'm working on the division templates July 29th now. Time's gonna keep moving. Representative speaks passionately in support of the government. Thank you. At least someone knows what the fuck they're talking about. Again, I'm gonna preemptively buy more chromium from South Africa. Um, because our heavy tanks are gonna just consume the hell out of it. Should probably get some preemptive tungsten purchase too. Portugal is a fantastic trade partner for that. Because they're gonna, I think, remain mostly neutral in the war. How's our light tank production doing? I'm gonna take half a year, six months, really. How many factories do we have on that? Five. Come on, guys. Mm, okay, well, let's bump it up to... Uh, we better bump it up to ten, in all honesty, because... When we put our light tanks into the infantry templates, it's gonna... It's gonna eat us up. Probably ease off on uh, infantry equipment for now, and support equipment as well. Because we have such surpluses. Support equipment we don't have a surplus of, actually. I take that back. But we will be capped out in 10 days. How did those two extra factories affect our light tank production? Uh, spending up by about a month. Okay. Okay. It's August 18th. Alright, we're up to 10 army experience now. It's August 26th. We can throw in our signal company. And that is the end of that. And we are so close to having our, our finished 40 width template. I'm really excited. Oh dear, the 4th International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference, laying the groundwork for what has been known as the 4th International. Calls for its formation have existed for years, with supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead. Stalin has responded to growing numbers of support. Blah, blah, blah. Stalin has responded to growing support for Trotskyism abroad by ordering additional assassinations and increasing propaganda against his old rival. With the past purchase of suspected Trotskyists in the high ranks of the Soviet military, any leadership, and leadership in recent memory, this is unlikely to be met with any resistance. How many internationals will there be? A few more, I dare say. I dare say. Uh, so what can we do decision-wise? Escalator Clause, I'm not going to withdraw. I'm going to wait for the Escalator Clause to kick in. Um... Let's support the anti-fascist war. Let's try to give China some help. 
uh, and grant statehood to Hawaii. Yeah. And then we'll do a medium lobbying after it. How is China doing? Let's check it out. Uh, they, you know, they're holding their own pretty good, aren't they? Uh... They, they seem to be doing okay. Usually they get pushed on a lot harder. I, I say go China. All right, keep it up, keep it up. September 2nd, time's going to keep moving. Nice, Louisiana maneuvers. Oh, dear. German demands for Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to considerable German minority, have intensified. At a summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, Italy, and... Uh, <coughs> In a summit held in Munich, Germany, Britain, France, and Italy sought to find a diplomatic solution to the so-called Sudeten crisis. Czechoslovakia was not invited to attend. That's rude as fuck. An agreement was reached in which Germany annexes Sudetenland, but will not pursue any further territorial gains in Europe. Mr. Chamberlain spoke to crowds in London. For the second time, a prime minister has returned from Germany, bringing peace with honor. I believe it is peace for our time. No war this year, then. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Huh? Oh dear. Okay, let's go back over here. Um, it's time. The Federal Housing Act. We can do it. The legislation has been finished. We are going to leave the Great Depression behind. In a public declaration, Miklos Horthy has renounced the treaty imposed by the Allied powers after the Great War, signed by the Hungarians under protest in 1920. It greatly reduced the country's size and limited the strength of its military. In his speech, Miklos Horthy already hinted that Hungary may soon look towards reaffirming their claims on territories taken from them two decades ago. God damn it, Hungary. They are indeed meddling with world order. And uh, can you abide by that? I can't abide by that. September 8th now. This year is moving pretty speedily. We're just kind of doing production and construction. Um, but every, it's all working out, I think, uh, rather well. I'm going to keep staggering our military and civilian factories... Always good every once in a while to just take our excess airplanes out of storage, right? Get them flying around. Up to an air force of about 1,400 aircraft. Doing pretty well there. So notice you can uh, toggle between times 10 and times 5 view on your production screen. If you're starting to run out of room, you feel like you want to assign more factories, you can just downsize the number you're seeing there. Like I just did. With all these big ones. And jump up to 15 on light tank production. And uh, we're probably going to need 20 on heavy tank production. Granted, we're a long ways out for having all those factories built, but, I mean, not that far. Like, look, they're cruising right along. I love it. It's October 9th. Time's still rolling. We have a ways to go. Oh, except for carrier task force. That's almost done. Seven days. Six days. Another senator. Another heart attack. Another senator retiring. Come on, guys. Nice. So there's our carrier task forces finished on October 17th. Um, what to do now? Should we go back into more, maybe more naval tech? Uh, yeah. I think so. Magnetic detonator. Let's get that torpedo attack on our destroyers and our subs up, up dramatically. Most of our infantry, they're waiting for artillery, light tanks, and support equipment still... Artillery will have that quota done in 160 days, 97 days, and 57 days. So we're gonna need, we need more sport equipment and more artillery. It's all going. It's November 2nd now, moving into the later section of the year. Would have liked to cap out all these, like, uh, def deficits um, before year ends. Not totally convinced that's gonna happen. Uh, I'm gonna move the naval bomber up here just so it gets the gets that factory uh, factory filled as fast as possible. The people have spoken! Every two years, a third of the Senate seats and all seats in the House of Representatives are up for election. Well, often overshadowed by world events, the local situation in each constituency can sometimes make the difference. 
After all the votes were counted, the faction that supported the government lost. Oh, lost seats like a motherfucker. Oh, no. Medium lobbying effort. Go, go, go. Jesus, we just lost all our house support. Why? And we're going to lose even more when the Federal Housing Act finishes. Holy Christ. At least we fucking have browning machine guns now. Um, <laughs> They fucked us, man. They fucked us. I just get our more uh, in infantry equipment going here. Um, but God damn it, huh? That's brutal. How could they do me like this? Why'd they do me like that? Some good though is we do have 29 army XP, so we're gonna wait till 30 and then we'll add in the rest of the light tanks. There's the Federal Housing Act. We're done. The depression's gone. We fucking did it. We fucking did it, boys. I I'm so happy. I'm proud of us. Um, focus on Europe. We'll do that. Because then we can go down for that extra construction slot. Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. So that'll put us at home of the free, New Deal, War Department. Yeah, it's all. It's just gone. Slow economic growth, depression, all that shit. It's just gone. We're fucking... We're a functioning economy again. And look at our construction is is cruising. Holy shit. I'm so proud of us, guys. I'm so happy. It's November 21st, 1938, and the Great Depression is officially over. Oh, we have free dockyards. Does that mean our upgrade's finished? Wow, they did. Wow. Um, so let's just we'll wait for these uh Excuse me? Why are you going to take... You're going to be done in 39? Why do you take so long, Mr. Broken Class? It's absurd. Um, yeah, we'll let we'll let these, these guys finish out. This will be done December 1st. That's nice. And then we will actually... We're going to wait until the Escalator Clause is invoked. 73 days before we begin pumping out new submarines and shit with the... Uh, fancy torpedoes and, and whatnot. So does that mean you guys are done? We can put you on naval exercises now? Huzzah! Alright, it's December 8th. December 9th now. We're winding towards the end of the year. Doing pretty great. Doing pretty fucking great. Just finished our firefighting drills. Um, and again, yeah. We gotta, ooh, racket shooting. Yeah, we need to we need to just really rush our naval tech right now, I think. Like look at that. So, uh, small caliber semi armor piercing shell. That's very cool. But we're going to keep our separated fire mains so and keep the fire control path going. And it looks like that'll be the last research we get going for the rest of this year. Um, our national focus again yeah, we won't finish that up before the end of the year. So I think that's about all we can do for the rest of 1938. Um, our construction queue is cruising. It's much shorter than it used to be. Getting our military and civilian factories built. It's December 20th. Um, we are out of the Great Depression. We have completely left it behind. In uh, two short years, three short years. I'm feeling quite fantastic about that uh we're on early mobilization feeling fantastic about that too december 23rd almost christmas eve all right we got all our destroyers finished upgrading their hull strength and i'm very happy about that as well we oh here we have 34 this is the last thing we're gonna do for the year we're gonna add in these light tanks combat with 40 Defense 373, Breakthrough 161, Soft Attack 248, Hard Attack 34, Suppression 23, Supply Use 2.3, 1, that's kind of annoying. We're going to have to be careful the AI doesn't rush our supply lines when we take land, but we'll work on that later. Recovery Rate, HP, Fuel Capacity, I'm, this is, so, this is my single player 40 with division. This is what I have built. Um... Do let me know in the comments if you know this game better than I do, which many people do. 
how you make your templates versus how I made mine and like what maybe I'm doing wrong. But this is what I did and I think like I find it it works. It works pretty well. So we'll hit save and then we finished that. Completely finished that. Which is fucking excellent. Let it roll, let our cues get all fucked up again. Or our, our production lines. Um, but they'll bounce back. Don't worry about any of that. Especially as our construction keeps on trucking. We have all these military factories coming down the pipe. Uh, and building very quickly. Plus 35% construction speed. That's just huge. That's huge. So if we look at this military factory that just started, it'll be finished on April 13th of, of next year, which is only a couple months. We're cruising right along. All right, it's evening on the 31st of December in 1938. That is the year of 1938. Once again, I am Redwall. Thank you all so very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I would appreciate it, but also comment and let me know what I could be doing better um, in terms of my divisions or constructions or uh, research. Um, that being said, I feel very confident. I'm very happy with where we're at. I think we are killing the game. We, the depression is gone, it's completely gone. We are rushing uh, our economy and military factories. We have a 40 with infantry division finished. We have heavy tanks are gonna start producing soon, as soon as we get those factories going. Um, and yeah, that, that should do it. So yeah, once again, I am Redwald. Thanks all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video for 1939. And we will truck right along one step closer to World War II. All right, guys. See you later.